Hey everybody, it's just me LTM. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am continuing my series of testing yarn in my circular knitting machines. When I first got my knitting machines, I found a lot of people talking about yarns that worked really well in them. However, most of those people were in the UK or the US and they were talking about shops like Joann's and Michael's and we don't have those here in Australia. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to test yarns that I can buy locally myself or that I can access easily. And that's what this series of videos is about. So I'm testing yarns that I can purchase easily. My most common place to purchase used to be a little yarn shop that was close to me called Knit Pearl Sew. Unfortunately, that's closed down. They are online now, so I can still purchase from them online. However, there's nothing quite like feeling yarn, so I do tend to make a lot of my purchases from Spotlight, which is a very large chain here in Australia. They have all kinds of crafts, housewares, and all kinds of different stuff. I also purchase from time to time from Hobby, which is in Denmark, Denmark the country, not Denmark the small lovely town down south of Western Australia where I live. Um, and I have quite a lot of their yarn here as well, so that's easy for me to purchase, so that's what, they're the kinds of yarns that I will be testing. Today's yarn is a yarn from Hobby. It is called Tweed Delight. Kind of fallen in love with the tweedy kind of yarns. And this is 85% wool, 10% acrylic, 5% viscose. I haven't used a woolen yarn in my machines as yet. I have used mostly acrylic, some polyester, and I've used cotton. I haven't yet used wool so I'm really curious to see how this behaves in the machine every yarn seems to behave differently and even within the same brand of yarn different colorways will behave differently in the circular knitting machines primarily I've read that that's because dye impacts yarn differently or affects yarn reacts with yarn differently and that's why one color might work really well in your machine and a different color is just a total disaster. I purchased four balls of this because they're only 50 gram balls. The yardage says it's a uh, hundred meters so I am going to give this a whirl. I'm probably going to make a beanie and a scarf or maybe a beanie and a set of fingerless gloves. When I first started doing my yarn tests, I was just doing swatches of about 50 rows and then I thought, well, that's a bit silly. If I'm putting all of that time into actually making the knitted fabric, I may as well make, make something with it as well. So now I decide beforehand what I'm gonna make. It's still a yarn test. It's still to see how this yarn works in my machine because I haven't used this yarn in my machine before. But at least I'm actually making something this time, not just a 50 row swatch and then have to um, undo it to use the yarn for something else. So here we go, stick around. I will show you the whole process. I do speed up through the boring bits where I'm just cranking row after row after row, but I do like to show that to you so that you can see this is actually how this yarn is behaving in my machine. So here we go.
So there you go, that was the Tweed Delight from Hobby being used in my 8046 needle machine. I have made a double brim beanie. I got about 73, 74 rows out of the 100 meters 50 gram ball. I really like the fabric that it's created. Although the top of the beanie is only single thickness, that is quite thick enough for a beanie for here in Western Australia we don't get really bitterly cold winters like some of you who are watching do in America for example or England um, but for an Australian winter that's that's plenty thick enough so yeah I think this will make a really great beanie I did join in another uh, ball of yarn I did 80 rows in total so I used a small amount from another ball of the yarn to complete this and so I've still got pretty much three balls of yarn left. I can potentially use two balls to make a drop stitch scarf. I could use one ball to make fingerless gloves on my 22 needle machine to match. The fabric that this has created is, is really quite wonderful. The stitches are very, very even. There was no problem with tucked or drop stitches other than just after I doubled up the brim, there was one stitch that dropped off the pegs, uh, but I rectified that really easily and the rest of it just went really well. Went through the, the yarn went through the machine really well, didn't make the machine difficult to crank at any time. I didn't feel like my machine was going to break, which some yarns make your machine feel like it's going to break because it gets really hard to crank. Uh, but this went through the machine really well, so highly recommend. I will definitely use this again. I have some other balls of this yarn in different colorways so I'm really pleased to know that this is going to work really well in my machine. I might use one of the other colors in my century machine to see how that goes because we do know that different yarns behave differently in the two different brands of machines, the Centro machines and the Addy machines. This was used in my Addy machine and you might have noticed something about my Addy machine. If you've been watching my videos you will notice I have a new handle on my Addy machine. I switched out the original Addy handle because I found it quite difficult to crank lots of rows with this handle. So I bit the bullet and purchased one off, um, off the internet. I will put a link down below for the one that I purchased. Um, yeah, it was very easy to install so and that made it a lot easier that definitely made it a lot easier to crank. I didn't lose my grip on the handle, which sometimes happened with this one. I'd be holding it and my hand would just slip off the handle entirely while I was cranking. And that didn't happen at all with this one. So I'm really pleased with my new handle. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if this is the kind of content that you would like to see more of, I strongly suggest you hit the like button because that will tell the YouTube algorithm this is the kind of content that you like and therefore it will recommend similar kinds of content to this to you in your feed on your homepage on your YouTube. If you're really interested, I'd really love it if you would subscribe as well, but that's totally up to you. I will continue to be doing more yarn tests and I have a wide variety of other videos on my channel as well so you may see some different kinds of things other than yarn crafts popping up as well. Thank you for watching today I hope that was useful I'm really pleased with the outcome I will definitely buy this yarn again from Hobby and I will definitely use this yarn in my machine again it was an absolute joy to use see you next time bye